Hello, 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 and welcome. Thanks for tuning in and wasting some time with me. It's much appreciated. Let's get it started. So two picks off where we left off in episode one with the McCray boys getting out of that house to go and enjoy their summer. It starts off in Town Square where everyone go down for some shopping and to watch a good movie. But you know, we still had to move differently than others. Every storefront window had a sign that let us know the specific times and the day we could take advantage of just having a good time. But that doesn't stop Lincoln and his group, the Crescent Kings, from serenading and making the latest swoon. Everyone was crying around listening to the beautiful sounds coming out of those young men. And with Lincoln's good looks and smooth tones, the ladies could not help themselves. But those melodic tunes didn't distract the crowd for long. You know it can't be all sugar sweet in a time like this. Here comes Frankie and his men in, and a kid named Milton has paid the prize. There's a commotion, Milton comes out running, the black people run to Milton's aid, and the white people disperse, they got out of their child. And it doesn't take long for a beautiful summer day. The ones carried sweet notes just seconds before, now echoes the cries and pain of a teenager who was beaten and basically just treated inhumane. But they are brought back to reality, not only because of the state of Milton, but also with the barking of orders by a passing police officer to get that black boy off of a sidewalk. He definitely could not care less about providing assistance to a beaten Milton. He was more worried about that piece of concrete. You know, just another day in the Deep South. They weren't the only ones feeling some type of way. With the newfound knowledge of a color television, Robert McCray decided he just had to have one. He wanted a similar television to the one that his daughter Rita could not stop gushing about when she came home from going to work with her mom. He wanted a TV like that for his family. But boy, was that a mistake. With all of the hardships that Black people have to endure, that buying a color television would be such a self-defeating, demeaning event that would have made Robert feel more disrespected. Now, just because the signs say they service doesn't mean they want to. And Robert found that out when he was denied credit for the color television, but not before he was harassed by security. Child, they followed him up and down that store. The crowds wondered what money if he had any to even purchase a television, much less a colored one. And just who does he think he is walking past those black and white TVs to the area where they keep the color one? The nerve. Robert carries the weight of being denied on his shoulders. And you know, it's not just about the television, it's about everything. And it's about the principle. We all want to be treated fairly. And if something is offered to one, color should not stop it from being offered to another. Now Robert brings that pain home with him and Leona can feel that her man is not in the right headspace. Not just today with the color television, Robert has been slightly hypnotized by the train that passes regularly, you know, past their house. And Leona has begun to notice. Not just today, she's noticed it before that Robert has not been himself. That black woman intuition, y'all, it is real. The thoughts of leaving have crossed Robert's mind and the TV debacle does not help the situation anymore. And once Leonia discovers what is really bothering Robert, she wants to eliminate his hurt. She wants to stop that pain. She wants to help her man. You can definitely feel her love for him with every word that she speaks. She loves that man. Episode two is a great episode, y'all. I'm not going to spill all the tea. You know, I need to check it out for yourselves. Believe me, you won't be disappointed. If you like this episode just as much as I enjoy sharing it with you, please like, subscribe, and share with all your people. You can listen to Blackbird's audio series on Apple Podcasts, Amazon, Google Podcasts, and Spotify. You can also find Andre at blackbirdsaudio.com, at one blackbirds on twitter and at blackbirds v1 on instagram